Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Kung Fu Report, where we talk about classical Kung Fu and its application. Today we're going to be talking about the Hoi Tsip Sao, or the opening and closing hands in the Hakka Fist. See you when we get back. Alright Chris, please come on in. So, um, on the last episode, actually this side will probably see it better. We were talking about this idea of the low back fist followed by the elbow and the double fist, right? And we did it against the punch a couple episodes back. If you're interested, you can watch it. We'll leave the link uh, in the description below. Then the episode after that, we talk about, yeah, what happens if the guy covers and then clinches, right? And when I do that, Chris tried to clinch, right? Yeah, this idea would still work. So some of you have asked, oh yeah? What if you have a jacket on and now it's not so easy to kind of like release the grab? That's actually a really good point because when Chris was grabbing there and I opened and hit, that's easy because he doesn't have a grip on me. Once he has a grip on me, it's not so easy to hit somebody because they're disturbing your root, right? So just give me a second. And um, for example, if I have a jacket, right? And uh, Chris already got a grip on me pretty hard, right? And he's moving me around. I can't really hit because I don't really have any balance. So, and then the guy grabs it there. A lot of people think they can just grab this and wrist lock it. Let me do it for a second, sir. I grab it, then I lock it, right? Well, let me try it. Don't even try it that hard. Just go 50% straight. Go harder. Yeah, move me around. I can't. <laughs> There's no way that's going to... You know, he's like 100 pounds bigger than me and he's stronger than me. I can't just peel this off, right? So, one of the things that in the Hakka fish is the basket body, right? So if he moves me around, yeah, go ahead, shake me around hard, then I lose my balance. So the idea is to use the basket body step with it. Good way to release the grab if I can't hit, go ahead. And I can't really hit because especially if you've got longer arms, right? It's to simply do this. <laughs> Why again? <coughs> Hitting down here, the arm doesn't work for a second. Yeah. Or the hoi tips out could be used. Yeah, that's one way you can do it. That comes in, you open, you hit. Oh. And then <laughs> because what if he tries harder? Well, if he tries harder, I'll hit him harder because that was very light. Right? This idea of the open and close can also be done against the punch if Chris hits. That goes right in here, you open, and then you come in and hit. You can also scrape, come right across with the Phoenix guy fish right in the temple. You can also use it against a straight punch. He comes in, I cut and hit. You can be used against a guard, you close, and then you're in. This idea of open closing can be done on the other side. You come in and hit. If his arm is up, <laughs> yeah. It can be used to scrape right away because I'll go light. <laughs> right? So it doesn't work with gloves on, but it works pretty good with both gloves on. You just hit and then you hit. And you're screwing up the arm, right? You're gonna hit twice. I'll go extra light this time. Once you're in here, you hit this with the hammer. Then again, you open and you close. You grab. This open and close idea works pretty good. It just hits whatever is there, right? So when we get back, we'll talk a little bit about this. <sighs> All right, guys. So the concept today is a very um, simple technique, hoi tips out, which is the opening and closing. So the reason why I say it's easy is because look at it like a pair of scissors. You open the scissors, you close the scissors. And if you get a pair of scissors, right, you can use it in any direction, right? So it's the same thing. That's why I demonstrated it against grabs, single grab, double grab, uh, swings, short hooks, uh, straight punch. I demonstrate different ways of using it today because it's like a pair of scissors. So the technique's very simple to learn. It's just opening and closing. The concept's very easy to understand. It's just opening and closing. The hard part to make it work, once again, as in most of the Hakka stuff, it's not the technique, but the attribute of short power. So you don't really rely on rotation. You rely on short power. 
which I demonstrated last episode. It's called Tanto, to absorb and to throw out. That's one translation. It's basically the vertical wave or the vertical roll, and a lot of people know this. Today, I, the, the type of short power in this Hakka part, the open and closing, is not based on the vertical roll. So it's not based on the idea of this kind of motion. Rather, the horn tips out a lot of times, it can be done this way, this way, or this way. They open and then they hit, they open and then they hit, they open and then they hit. This idea is more like, um, like an arrow, a bow and an arrow. If you get a bow and arrow, you pull it, the thing bends, and it comes back out, right? So it's not this wave idea, but the idea of using the basket body to compress and then bounce back, kind of like almost like a snake or like an arrow, whichever way you want to look at it, or a spring. So this idea is not a vertical roll and it's not a horizontal roll. I don't even know what to call it. I'm just going to call it bow and arrow. So this idea needs to be developed to a short frame. That way when you hit, it starts to hurt. Another thing you need is good hand conditioning. So that's also part of a lot of Gung Fu systems, right? So these are the attributes that you need. And anything else, Chris? No, that's... That's good? Yeah. Okay, so one more thing I want to say is we're very happy to announce that the Hakka series, Volume 1, is out on our website, adamchenkungfu.com. It is only available in the full immersion program, and it's free for all the students in the full immersion program in the student library. So, go sign up. Uh, train hard, stay safe. See you guys next week. Please, uh, if you have any questions, you can email Chris, and he can direct you on how to find the series. Okay, see you next week.